What is up, everybody? It's Sam, and we are back with another episode of Pessimistic at Best, the podcast. And I have my friend Kira on the pod. Hello. I'm so excited to have you on this podcast. I am giddy to be here. Yay. Well, we just had a nice little dinner. It's been a pleasant evening. What can we say? It's a great day. Yeah. My rain, but seriously, it's actually been, I'm just thankful that it cooled off a little bit because this heat has been unbearable. I wouldn't know. So um. true. You've been gone. <laughs> How's the weather in Paris? Um, brutally hot some days and relentlessly rainy other days. Okay, but totally. there were a couple of days where it was beautiful and most of the games are outside. They, well, I guess it depends on the sport. They sure are. Um, may, well, maybe like half and half. Sure. From what we went to, did you get poured but, on? Oh yeah, for beach volleyball no just like 12 hours of rain the, and like the forecast was like maybe it'll they were like teasing us it was like maybe it'll stop totally maybe like 30 percent goes down to 20 percent, and right. then it was just like 12 hours we were just like wiping like right rain off of us the whole time and you're just drenched and then you're like we have to just enjoy this we yeah. have to enjoy it. We have to. <laughs> totally just, like Grin my hair it. is just like like you know when your hair gets so like it just like it's like standing up straight because it's so absolutely humid but it was i love it i'm so jealous it looks so fun you well next time you can honestly you can head up um not as cool of a city but yeah well (laughs) are you an la hater am i in the presence i'm not a big la girl okay to be honest but i've only ever been for work so it's hard for me to say i feel like i've not actually ever gone for fun and I'm sure that could change my mind. That's okay. You can, um, you can hate on LA. You're in good company. <laughs> I've never, totally. I've never been. But you've I've, never ever been. No, okay, I, totally, I have totally. no, I have no. Like, don't draw to it. I know. I kind of feel the same. I feel it just like, doesn't have that. I what? It has Air One. It's not for me. Yeah, I don't know the city. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of cities that might be for me, but LA is not at the top of my list. I but. kind of agree. What like turns you off of it a little bit? Um, I think it's like a little bit too modern. Dare yeah. I say? Like, there's no charm. It kind of just appeared really recently. Not. <laughs> Sure. recently in the history of the world <laughs> totally, totally, you know totally. like like cars were definitely invented before la was invented okay versus like yes. a city like i don't know i don't know maybe the scale of it from what i see of course i've never been there yeah i'm just being a hater from three thousand miles you you are in good hands away here. <laughs> but um I don't know. Yeah, I kind of feel the same. I'm also not really into cities that require a lot of driving. Yes. Especially if it's highways. No, thank you. Yeah, I also like ugly cities. I like totally. grungy, ugly, dirty cities. And I'm not, I'm not kidding. I, yeah, I kind of feel the same. They have to have a little grit to them. Yes. It's all about the personality. Yes. <laughs> if your city is too beautiful and white and chrome and like clean, and maybe LA is like that, and maybe it's not, but like... Right. I guess I have seen some parts of LA that are dirty, but not really in the same charming way. Yeah. Like I was just in San Francisco and I had never been there before, but that was a charming city. NorCal is maybe a little bit more of my vibe. Yeah. I don't know. I can see that. My sister lives in San Francisco. It was cool. Expensive as fuck, but. Sure. It was good vibes all around. Oh, did you go up to, you went up to like Sausalito and Mm -hmm. all the cute little. Sausalito was cute. It honestly reminded me, have you ever been to like, um. I mean, I don't know why you would, but like up north Wisconsin. I've never. Like mm, Door County or any of that. Mm. Ugh, remind me of Door County a little bit. I don't really know why. Coast, is it, just coastal town. Is yeah. it like up north Michigan? Because I've yes, been Yeah, there, actually, kind of. yes. Yeah. 100%. Not all the way up, but like. Yeah. The, the north. Oh, beautiful. It was, it was cute. Lots of old people. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is about Chicago, there's not a lot of old people. Like when I go home, yeah. I'm a little bit, I get a little like whiplash because i'm like why is everybody middle aged? no 100 percent. and i sometimes forget that like in lakeview all i, I look around and everyone is from 25 to 35 for and sure you forget that there's other people i know <laughs> there's other generations yeah, in this country <laughs> so uh, true. 
James's parents were just visiting us last weekend. And I feel like they were having probably the reverse of that. They were like oh. looking around and they were like, oh, this is a young neighborhood. Yeah. And I was like, is it? But I guess in yeah. comparison. Yeah. To sort of like their farm. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I want to know more about Paris. Okay. What was like the creme de la crop of like the games? Okay, men's gymnastics, obviously. Okay, totally. They stole my heart, I think, even before the games. Yeah, they're hard just. To beat. I was packing. I was having a hard time packing. So I was like, I just want to go. I don't want to like plan all this. I don't want to like lay out my clothes. I was just. Like I need a little motivation. Where are the Olympics? That's <laughs> we are gonna put a good pin in that because that's yeah. a good question. People don't know. No, totally. But I was trying to motivate myself, like, okay, like get this done, like get going. So I put on their little like NBC men's gymnastics like special. It was like a half hour little, you know, like interviews with them and totally. just like meet the meet the teammates. They are so sweetie pies. So like when we went, I was like fangirling. I was like, okay, this guy is so sweet. And, blah, 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 blah. and this guy had an injury. Brody Malone had like this like really terrible injury. Mm-hmm. Like couldn't walk just a year ago. I was like, this is incredible like rookie story. And then our sweet baby boy, Steven, yes. the Bahama Horse King. I was like, Claire, he's, I was like, he's my favorite. <laughs> just like, he's such like a little, I, and everyone knows I'm like, he's just such a little like nerd and like totally a little quirky little guy um and so when he came out I literally was like starstruck I was like he needs to do so well and then oh, he did and then he sure went ahead and did that he's our hometown hero Amazing. not hometown he's our home country hero love that uh I am I they, at one point they were before the other teams went they were like in the first spot in like the gold position or whatever mm-hmm. and then the other teams went and just scored higher but I said I was like I almost am glad they didn't get gold because I would having them stand on the podium and playing the national anthem I would have probably thrown up from crying oh a hundred so hard I am getting a little bit <laughs> choked up like no I understand that would have been that would have been so emotional for sure I know something about it even I like <laughs> randomly in Madison the Iron Man was happening like in and around like our one of my old apartments and I like went outside for a little bit just to, like watch some of the people like do the marathon I was sobbing Did you yeah. yeah there's it's just, something like, when somebody is giving their all to something I'm like that is so amazing <laughs> there is something about it yes. I don't and there are like a there are like marathon olympics criers and then there are people that don't understand it and i'm like (laughs) i I don't i don't know what to say to those people yeah (laughs) yeah i am i'm I'm sorry to team usa men's gymnastics but i'm almost glad you didn't win gold because you would have you would have like (laughs) i would have been life lighted out there i'm not (laughs) i am not kidding but uh so yeah uh, yeah well, you got to do the Airbnb experience. Yes. So Shout cool. out to our girl, Zoe. Not sponsored, by the no. way. No. <laughs> Proud partner of the Olympic and Paralympic Games. Yeah. No. Um, yes. Our sweet girl, Zoe. Seriously, really. Um, shout out. Yeah. That That's was so cool. amazing. It was free. We got to skip the line for security. Lay. We went under a little rope. Mm-hmm. Um, we did not get lanyards. I really wanted like a pass to like no, show like, to somebody. VIP right, vibes. right, right, right. Had great seats. Um, That's so got cool. Got to chat with Miss Carly Patterson. Got to hold a gold medal. Yeah, got to hold a gold medal. Amazing. I should have done yeah, a right. little bite, <laughs> but I didn't want to be weird. Um. <laughs> yeah, hey, do you mind if I like, take a chomp out of this? I just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you, shit everybody my does it, right? Yeah, right, literally. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. Beach volleyball so was fun. also. Besides sort of the boring yeah, rain. Yeah, well, yeah. Beach volleyball is so fun to watch, though. Yes. Um, interestingly enough, so we were, we watched a couple matches. The one was USA versus Cuba. Okay. Cuba ended up winning, but the like MC of the stadium was like, all right, everybody, like who's here cheering on the USA? Like, woo, like that much noise. Oh, no. And, oh, and then, okay, guys, like who's cheering on Cuba? The stadium erupts. Okay. Big fans it, over there. I don't even know. Cause I turned around. To the people and I was like are you guys from Cuba they're like no we're from Mexico interesting I get the feeling 
after my first Olympics mm-hmm. that they just want to see us lose everything. Oh, okay, okay. They couldn't, Interesting. They couldn't care who was playing. They didn't, maybe, maybe they did enjoy the Cuban team. Right, massive Cuba fans. But they were just like, right, like how many people from Cuba could have been in that stadium? And that is such a good question. Perhaps just a bunch of United States haters. Yeah. Yeah. Can't blame them, honestly. Yeah, I know. (laughs) That was, I was kind of wary. I will give credit to the French people and all the people of the Olympics. They were not as like cold shoulder to the USA as I thought they might have been. Yeah. Which brings me back to our little pin. Yes. What do you wear to the Olympics? It's just like I wouldn't have a clue. Yeah. Um, sure. Prob- is this casual? <laughs> yeah. Like I'm like, what do you wear? A pencil skirt and a blazer. <laughs> Statement <laughs> necklace. Oh my god, no! I should have saved my collection. <laughs> no, um, some people wore just like whatever they wanted, like little jeans and like a little t-shirt. Okay. And some people dressed up as the Statue of Liberty. Or oh, okay, like right. full on like showing sort of some um, uh, patriotism. Yeah, yeah, I was afraid there was um, a kind of very thin line between being like, "Yay, go you Team USA," and being like MAGA about it. Oh, so true. So right, especially now. Yeah, like the American flag is sort of um, has become a different symbol. Right, that's <laughs> yeah. how I saw it. Yeah, but I was like subtly like, I think we did a good job of wearing like red white and I I got like little red white and blue like Adidas specials but or like we had little like bows in our hair that were red white sure. and blue but do you okay. know how many countries including France it's completely true are yeah. red white and blue right so I feel like the stars and stripes I would go I would lean a little bit more into it next time okay okay especially in well, pro tip yeah in LA um it's gonna be yeah it's gonna be <laughs> yeah. insane Okay, well, do you want to go to every Olympic Games from here on out? I unfortunately think I have created a really bad habit. (laughs) Totally. A very bad habit. Um, Yeah, I'm interested, too, in the Winter Olympics. Yeah. I like the idea of being, um, as I say, parked up. Totally. Like, head to toe, like... So true. In a big, like, sleeping bag. like straight up snowsuit. Yes. Like, down the... the, Absolutely. And like the sports might be a little bit more obviously like more obscure in the winter. Yeah. And they so have some crazy winter yeah. sports. Yes. Bob sledding, that's yes. insane. <laughs> yeah. Imagine. Yeah. Obviously curling. Yeah. I bet the crowd would be crazy. For sure. Um yeah. Ice when are, skating. Where are those gonna be? Milan. Okay. I glamorous. Feel like Milan has hosted a few Olympicses okay. in the past. Yeah. Um, so it's not their first rodeo but was this paris's first time no okay they hosted in 1900 1924 we have a pro over here (laughs) this is my platform to nerd out i love the olympics i mean i I get why i mean i don't know worthy of fandom i think i like like studying them too like it kind of gets a little bit like there's like political things to it there's like social like worldly like no so true it's like a current event it kind of like well how often do we get everyone together like that exactly exactly. i'm saying it like it's family reunion it is it's like field day (laughs) yeah it's so so sweet well and did you i can't remember exactly when this happened were you already in paris during the whole sort of like uh Sen poop scandal um no i was on twitter during <laughs> yeah <that>. totally <laughs> no i still am kind of wary i'd like to see the people who did the triathlon and whatever yeah. like how they're doing right like internally how their gut biome is a hundred percent um well i thought that was a very interesting form of protest because mm-hmm. on the one hand like haha funny you poop on your president that's crazy And trying to like time out when you take your shit to when the president is going swimming is like beyond. (laughs) I didn't like do the logistics behind it. Yeah, so I'm kind of like, that's really interesting depending on how far up the river you are, (laughs) how fast the current is going that day. I don't know. (laughs) Do like a word problem in math. You're like writing out equations. No. So um, crazy. Yeah, they're, they're, the French are, sh- they're sure good at doing that. Right. Um, protesting, not 
calculating. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. Not math. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So I don't know if, if a lot of people end up participating. <clears throat> I mean, I saw the president do the swim. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out. Straight up. Shout out. So brave. Um, and with the DNC coming up, maybe our future president can swim in the Chicago River. So true. Yeah. Would love to see I'd it. I'd like to. Let's I'd get like her in there. <laughs> Go on with her little swim cap. Yes. Go on. Uh, oh. So funny. Well, I'm yeah. glad that you had so much fun. I mean, it looked incredible. Perhaps I'll have to go lovely. to the next Olympics. Yeah, I'll see you in Milan or LA. Literally. We'll see. Milan sounds more fun. Yeah. I'm I've a little never more been. Chic. To Milan? Yeah. Oh, get on over. I never made it to Italy, period. Oh, no. Well. So I have to explore. Yeah. Yeah. Where have you been in Italy? Where were your stints? Oh, um, mostly north of Rome. Okay. Um, I spent a lot of time in Torino. Okay. In, in Genoa, which is like on the like west coast um spent some time in rome we went to rome recently me and we meaning meaning claire and that's the spot rome is okay cuckoo totally. crazy worth all the hype i i love rome but um i feel like i don't know i feel like there's a lot of italy to oh God, like i've huge. never i've spent so much time there and i never um I've been to Venice. Venice is so fascinating to me because I'm like, how does that actually exist? <laughs> and it's it only will for a, a, a few very more short period of time. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should go over no, there. Literally, like, go I need to figure go it out. <laughs> yeah, Please let us know. Seriously. Oh, I feel Venice. like it is one of those ones you have to like see it while well, you still can. Yeah. 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 I I don't know anything where you have to canal yourself around right. on a. Insane. A gondola, yeah, as your mode of transport is crazy. The thing is, it's so I get why it's so romantic. It seems incredibly impractical. Yeah, I also have heard or seen like TikToks of people being like, "I forgot that you have to get like luggage around." Oh, so and, like, true. Horror stories, not horror stories, just like silly little like TikToks of girls with their massive like that would be me suitcases being like like lugging it upstairs right. or putting it in a. That was me when I first went on study abroad. I remember, I mean, that's also, you're bringing like your everything you could possibly need for the next six months. And I just remember being like, fuck this. I'm like logging it up the tube. I was in London. Oh, in London? Yeah. Oh. Um, And now I'm like, should have just gotten a taxi. Totally Um, stupid. I was like trying to be the city girl and take the tube and get to my little dorm you're like taking three trains unnecessarily Insane. going oh and there's not elevators in those damn things oh well you lived and you learned yeah yeah sometimes i think about europe and i'm like a person with any form of physical handicap could not live in a european city <gasps> okay that's huge because the paralympics are going to paris next i mean they're going to be okay. starting soon after the olympics and right. there were a lot of not that i'm um an expert on like well i would call it like ada you know american disability act yeah. compliance but i'm like we were trudging through like mud and like that's what i'm saying um i was like this is not very conducive to no. um different like modes of of ambulation i was yeah. like what are what are we gonna do here no, in paris t- so true yeah so i hope i hope it goes well we are gonna be having to install ramps all around that city i hope <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> is crazy yeah it's a big well and did you feel like it felt like i mean because i know every olympics they're worried about all of the displacement and they're doing all of those kinds of crazy Mm, things mm -hmm. did you like hear anything about that from anyone on on site on the premise that's a good question i feel like the only other time i was in paris i compared to like this time i was like wow they really like things were very like Mm, like there was nobody like loitering sure. the streets yeah, unless yeah, yeah. they were like attending the games from my from my point of view i feel like w- uh, around like the central like place where the the olympics stuff was going on like there was no like you know in some cities like even in chicago or like different like european cities people will be like kind of like selling stuff on the street totally. or they'll have like you know like like um 
you know, like like jerseys for sale or like yeah. bags, you know, trinkets, things like that. Trinkets, like little souvenirs. Yes, yeah. there was like none of that. Okay. Because we went there and I, I kept being like, I feel like we don't even have to buy little flags and like things and stuff. People will just be selling those everywhere. Yeah. People are just like selling things everywhere in Paris from the last time I went there. And I was like, none of that. So I feel okay. like that was... um. I don't know. There are a lot of police, a lot of police presence, but like not in the same way that it would feel around here. Just of like course. blocking streets, directing traffic, things like that. So yeah, yeah. But I feel like that is a good thing to call attention to. Every yeah. Olympics comes with a a hundred percent a list of like concerns, and yeah. I because well, they want to clean up the city to right. make it like look all right, perfect for all the visitors. Yeah, and it's like, well, okay, <clears throat> your city. You're not actually fixing the problem. You Maybe like hiding, hiding the it. Problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. So, like interesting. It's like when you like put everything in like a, a room upstairs when 100%. you're having a party. You're just like putting it up there so it looks. Yeah. Right. But which is one thing when it's your house. Another thing when it's like um, the livelihoods um, of others. Yeah. <laughs> like a major metropolitan <laughs> city so with millions crazy. and millions of people. Yeah. 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 I would be so curious to see an Olympic village. I know you didn't see it, but... No, I know. I just want to know. That would be... I want to know what's going on in there. Do you see... Do you watch the TikToks of the, uh-huh. the guys in there? Um, and the chocolate muffin man? No, I so. don't know that. <laughs> Right. We were following that. along together. <laughs> um, there is this... I don't want to misspeak. Maybe n- from Norway or from Sweden. Okay. A little, a little blonde pink boy. Absolutely. Who is maybe a swimmer or a diver Mm -hmm. and he started making these tiktoks about there's like these chocolate muffins on the buffet of the olympic village and he's been like making tiktoks about how he's obsessed with them i love that in love with them and like he really popped off you should you should look him up he's absolutely making incredible content he cracks me up he's my he's one of one of our favorites in our household at this point yes um i feel like that was the cool thing about the well the, these olympics obviously but also the um um like tokyo 2021 yeah. yeah olympics people were just like making tiktoks about right their daily life in the olympic village that so is like, true. like a that's phenomenon so new. yeah people couldn't do that before right we never yeah. knew what was going on plus i feel like that style of content like even though we had instagram whatever like people weren't really just like out here making like authentic real vlogs right on instagram like come with me to get lunch in the olympic village right. that's crazy and that's the shit i want to see yeah i want to see that yes yeah or like the cardboard beds right how do those work no literally how do they work yeah <laughs> They're li- they look like um like legos or like for sure they look it's one of those things too where i can't imagine that an athlete would be at peak performance after sleeping on, on that. a card. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Perhaps I know nothing, but <laughs> yeah. And I think Claire was saying too, that there was like no air conditioning. Of course. The f- That's actually so French. <laughs> right. They're like, you will, you will sweat it out. Yeah. And it's better for you. Crazy. I was thinking too, we were like, what if they like got COVID or like, what if they were like, sweating out all the other athletes and letting the french like live in these like totally. comfortable like king so size true. bed so they could win more medals yeah they are dominating crazy they're doing very well in the pool okay at least okay. but yeah they're up to something yeah no <laughs> no i thought they were gonna be way more french and i i stand corrected they were they were nice hosts That's very good. very good hosts yeah they only have one little chant and one little song that was just they were just chanting the whole the wow, whole time it plays course. in my nightmares but yeah relentless they were very proud of their of their athletes i get why yeah that's cool yeah yeah i think i mean i've heard things like that the olympics get bed bugs and i feel like that's why <gasps> they transition to like oh my god these cardboard beds i don't actually know i mean there still has to be a mattress on there but oh and remember paris had bed bugs <laughs> oh my god that's right <laughs> making wow that was actually crazy i actually forgot about that that was what like a year or two ago i don't yeah. know there's i have no concept of time oh my god and everyone was like paris is infested i think it was like fashion week too so oh. it was like really crazy yeah yeah wow so gross i have never right 
super I do sweet. not wish bed no. bugs upon anybody. I know. That sounds terrible. There was one time during study abroad where I, it was right at the end of my study abroad, like truly last like maybe three days and we had stayed somewhere and I think I got lice. <gasps> lice. Lice. Okay, that's really preschool of you. Right? I was like, I didn't even know adults could get lice. I mean, I guess it makes total sense. Uh, well, but a fun fact, Sophia actually gave me lice when we were kids. <laughs> <laughs> but where did she get it from? So we have no idea, but right, she right. knew that she had lice. She was patient zero. And she was like, we were at Crystal Lake going for a swim and she, we went in the gift shop and she tried on a bunch of hats and she was like, now you. Not the hats. <laughs> She's in a fedora with lice. <laughs> oh. And then I fully Sophia. got lice. Thank you, Sophia. Love you. Sophia. But you know what they say, you can't suffer alone. So you have to give your friends lice oh as well. Oh my gosh. I, you, you feel a little bit itchy as we're <laughs> talking about it. No, like, 100%. Uh, I had a friend in college who was like so scared of getting lice. And <laughs> she, I don't know, if, she just must have been really scarred by it as a kid or something. Yeah. And she's from like a little bit outside of Eau Claire, like northern Wisconsin. And I guess in one of their like suburbs or maybe it was in Eau Claire proper, there is a business called the Lice Avengers. <laughs> And if you think no, that you have lice, not. you can go there and they will like do a full like scrape a of your head and clean you. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is a brick and mortar. A brick and mortar. A physical location. <gasps> and she would go there sometimes just when she had a scare. <laughs> this is what the the covid clinics wish they could be oh 100 this was the blueprint for yes. like um drive through covid yeah. clinics <laughs> yeah the lice avengers yeah crazy <laughs> i would like and i would love to see it that enough people had lice have lice to keep what? that business alive <laughs> if they're, if they're avenging the lice so <laughs> right much. right they must not they're purposely not doing a good job maybe they're like planting it so in to, to like keep themselves afloat <laughs> It's actually a conspiracy theory like, for sure, but could be true. It's like a biological crime. Right. Okay, I didn't um I didn't realize like I guess I work in a school, so I realize that lice comes and goes, but yeah. I didn't realize that the the average person was scared of lice as much as oh. like a person who works with five year olds. <laughs> right. Is. Who is probably um, much more likely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So crazy. Well, if we get lice this weekend, <laughs> there's only one person. Well, there's two people that are coming in from out right, of town. Right. Yeah. So, so I Ruth mean, and Sophia. Yeah. You better, you better, <laughs> Maybe we you better have watch the girls uh, swing through the lice Avengers first. <laughs> Quick pits. Just to be safe. Oh, crazy. I also had a friend. Um, had a friend in college get like scabies. Have you heard of this? Okay, I've heard of it, but I, um, I'm thinking of scurvy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like pirates get. Right. What is? Tell me what scabies is. I don't think that I know all the way, so I could be misspeaking. But it is a. It's like, it's like lice, I think, but uh, of the skin a little bit. <gasps> Are they on? They're on you, or they're. In I your think they're on you. It could also be more of like, all I know is my friend had to, she completely got rid of the door mattress and requested to bring in her own mattress after that. It was freshman year. A horrible time in your sort of developing life to get to something get as scabies. awful as scabies. Yeah. Imagine if she got scabies and scurvy. Like, yeah, what right. if her vitamin C was not a <laughs> Seriously. That would have been bad. No, straight up. Wait, off. that sounds anything where you're just like uncomfortable and in pain i know i think you can no, also you. technically no, transfer scabies to another person Stop. via like skin contact oh, no so i think it can be considered an sti but like you don't have to get it that way it, she just got it from her mattress but like how crazy oh. is that <laughs> wow i'm thoughts and prayers i know to her i would be very scarred to like totally. sleep in a hotel bed or like yes oh i know sometimes i are you more Airbnb or hotel person? Um, I guess Airbnb. Yeah. yeah. 
I feel like I've leaned Airbnb for a while. Recently, I've had a couple of bad Airbnbs. So Mm. now I'm like, do I go back to the hotel? Mm -hmm. I feel like hotels aren't always very clean. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I should be more like there are a lot of people that are like, I would never sleep on the hotel sheets or whatever i'm like sometimes they're cozy though no totally they're really like cold and air conditioning (laughs) but i the concept of them being gross yeah that does go through my mind but i'm also like usually i'm so tired right i don't care not worth thinking about i'll get scabies if that's what (laughs) if that's what god intends At well, this you Hilton have to Inn. assume at like a hotel or something. I mean, you could completely sue them for something like that. Yeah, I would hope. <laughs> yeah. I, but maybe you, who knows? Maybe there's protections yeah. in place. But that is tragic. So terrible. Yeah. I feel like hotels are such a, you know what you're getting. It's like a pretty standard experience mm-hmm. every time. Part of that is appealing because some Airbnbs are certainly not what they promised. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But... We're again know. not sponsored by Airbnb. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Somehow they keep coming up. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, a word from our sponsor. <laughs> yeah. No, literally. No, seriously. If you guys want to, we're here. <clears throat> no pressure, though. Yeah. Anyway. Well, and then you went to Cleveland when you got home. Now oh, you yeah. just got back here. I did. That's like a ton of travel. Are you yeah. just exhausted? Um, I was like deliriously. Like I didn't know it was my mom's birthday. And I was home for my mom's birthday, but I woke up on the day, August 1st, and I was like, hi, bye. Yeah. And she went to like work. And then I texted her. I was like, oh my God, I, I don't know what day it is. I don't know where I'm at. Happy birthday. I am so sorry. <laughs> she probably was like, is she not going to say anything yeah. to me? Like, my own child. I know. And I was there. That's the whole reason I was there. Yeah, totally. So I was very like out of it. Brain also, fog. we didn't, um, if we were in Paris for like, what seven nights eight nights when i tell you we slept maybe on average i'm gonna give us 3.5 to five hours a night yeah for a week straight i was i looked at claire in the face walking through the one train station and i couldn't remember her name (laughs) my brain was like my brain was like shriveled up and like turned off i like yeah. looked her dead in the eyes and i was like uh, uh Cl- claire <laughs> yeah Ugh. i feel like i used to be better at that and now it is starting to catch up with me when what? i do that to myself like if like i'm not, not getting sleeping. any sleep oh. i feel like i really feel it now yeah. like back in college wouldn't have affected me at all yeah and now i'm like oh it turns out maybe i need you know minimum yeah. six you can't go on a seven day bender <laughs> oh <laughs> some of us can do You're it right Sam. some of us are <laughs> some of us are brave but some of us are built different yeah right 100%. yeah yeah some of us are here to to have fun and to to, to live not to tell. here to mess around no this is what it's all about turns out i'm here to sleep yeah well, <laughs> and your brain and your body and your heart they probably thank you for it yeah and, yeah doesn't seem to make a ton of difference yeah. but <laughs> you'll probably live like 28 years longer than me so enjoy <laughs> it see. that's like seven olympics is longer than me so, so. true when you put it in perspective <laughs> <laughs> well i'm excited for the weekend we're about to have yes. with everyone visiting because it's so much fun to have visitors here i think it that's really one of my is. favorite parts about this city are you um what's your take on hosting i think i know but i love it okay good I feel like all the apartments I've had previously, that was like a prereq upon moving here. I was like, I want to have enough place to sleep people. Yeah, right. So people want to come and stay with us. Yes. And I would say that's another nice thing about like moving out of your like child, like your the city you grew up in. Mm-hmm. Because for me, staying in Madison, when people would come home, like everyone was just staying with their parents mm-hmm. or had to see them. And like, no one was ever there just to visit us and like stay and like I was slumby. Yes. Yeah. And now it's slumbies galore. Right. Like actually rotating revolving door of this house as, is insane. As it should be. <laughs> yeah. But I it's so fun. Yeah. That's going to be so good. Um, I had a question. Oh, when you were talking about how people are going to Madison and staying with their parents. Mm-hmm. Have you guys had any weddings like friend weddings in Madison, for example? And if so, do people go and get a hotel or do they stay with their parents? Such a good question. We've had a few, and I feel like I, now I've done a little bit of both. And I feel like it depends on the friend. 
mm-hmm. a little bit and mm-hmm. how close you are. So we actually have one coming up soon. Haven't booked a hotel yet. Not sure what we're going to do for that one, to be honest. But I know Zoe's parents are gone and her family has a swimming pool. Uh-oh. So. <laughs> so that might be an option. That's like the best of both worlds. 100%. It's like a hotel and a parent's house. Right. Yeah, yeah. so true. Because I was under the impression now that we have big kid money I was right. like oh we're all getting the hotel block right and we're gonna have a party and yeah. we're gonna yes. no rules we'll yeah. stay up and people are like well like for my my sweet sweet best friend is getting married in a couple weeks and I was like yay hotel party everyone's staying with their parents totally and I'll do the same but guys I kind of wanted to like I throw know. a hotel banger and I guess I don't want to pay like $200 a night to stay in a hotel that's yeah. 10 minutes from my mom's house that has <laughs> lovely beds right. for me for free. Yeah. But I like a party. I know. I feel the same. I like... That's why I feel like it kind of depends. Like, if you know a lot of people that are going to the wedding or whatever, mm-hmm. then maybe it's worth doing the hotel. We actually did... There was one ho- uh, wedding that we went to. James was actually in it. It was mm-hmm. the first wedding either of us have been in. And he was a groomsman. And some of the groomsmen got to stay like on the grounds because it was like, oh, there was like a little lodge or whatever. Oh, I was thinking like a castle. It was okay. basically, it was giving cabin vibes. Okay. For sure. So he got to stay on the campgrounds. Yeah. <laughs> and so we were going to do maybe that, but I, it kind of filled up and we were like, well, we'll just get a hotel. And James's brother, who was not, um, in the wedding was like going to it and uh, we were like that's fun like we'll get a hotel all of us the four of us and the wedding was a little bit outside of Madison mm. and the hotel ended up being way further away more um. in the city than like his parents house like if we would have just stayed at his parents house we probably would have been 15 minutes away oh, wow. we ended up having to like take a shuttle that was like probably almost 40 minutes <gasps> <laughs> just to like, get back this is crazy oh my god yeah and i'm always afraid to not always like i'm going to weddings every night um, <laughs> let me try that again um you can get just like not what if you're late and you don't get the shuttle and the shuttles are done then yes. what then well, what happens and i feel like i'm so used to how easy it is to get like an uber here yes that is not Stop. the case do you forget sometimes that you can go to a place that doesn't have yes that doesn't have uber i just didn't even think that was an option anymore like i really no. didn't think that was possible i know but I, it happens wow and especially been the victim for sure especially like when you're on a campground you're yes. just not gonna roll wisconsin yeah there's no way oh my gosh at like 2 a.m not a chance you can get checked for lice but you cannot yeah, get an yeah, uber literally. wow straight up oh that's terrifying yeah i get okay a deep dark secret revealed oh i get God, okay. really um i don't have a word for this but maybe you or other people will um, relate the thought of being like in a place where you can't call an uber where you can't like get to a hospital quick enough where you 100%. can't where like you could like cry for help and no one just like something really i don't know like any emergency the the like lack of density of people in that area yes. scares me to death 100 percent. okay that makes me feel more claustrophobic yes. than being yes. around tons <gasps> of people in a city okay i don't know what the word for that is or like the feeling of that is yeah but like i absolutely know what you mean like i was driving to nashville recently and i was somewhere i don't know somewhere and i was like if my car breaks down i know where is the nearest person right hotel so true. like it, it scares me i feel like some people people who like that probably like don't trust other people mm. i feel like not being mm. around people is so scary to me because i feel like if i need help if there is any single person in the vicinity yeah i am i will be fine maybe that's it like we don't trust ourselves yeah. enough to help ourselves <laughs> yeah, we're true. dependent maybe that's yeah. the word i'm looking for <laughs> no yeah yeah or like um, I I wouldn't be scared on like a bustling street coming out of like a concert like that oh, would never 100%. scare me. But like uh, at three in the morning walking down a street that has no one on it, yeah, terrifies me. I know. No Same. one bad and no one good, just nobody. Right. Like I just I don't like no. I don't like that eerie feeling. Same. It feels yeah. way too unfamiliar. Like yeah, I love being surrounded. <laughs> me too. <laughs> and that's <laughs> I love being swaddled. I love with other humans. I love that. Yeah. When there's nobody around, what are you to do? No, literally. I 
I know. I feel like people... I need to be perceived. <laughs> oh, yeah, yes. Yeah. And I need to be watching people. Yes. I need to be looking. I need to be hearing. 100%. I need to have all of my senses firing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So true. Yeah. yeah. I know. I'm the exact same. And I feel like that's why I gravitate towards cities. Because mm-hmm. I just... There's no way. Yeah. If I If there was not another... If I didn't have neighbors... Yeah, I no. think I would be doing too much thinking. Right, it's if, not safe up here. <laughs> no, there'd be a lot of like, I would, I would, yeah. I feel like the, the, like the, the, the interest that I get from everyone else would just like, oh, 100%. <laughs> like just fill up my brain. Like, I know. It, the, the activity would need to go somewhere and it would just be right. like me thinking about everything. Which is a very dangerous game. Oh, I do not want to do that. No. No, thank you. No, thank you. Okay, well, I would love to get into your good, oh, bad, and ugly. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> we can start off with your good. I'm dying to know what it is. Okay, um, it's not as, uh, I don't know. I think I built it up. I think it's just, <laughs> I would give it the term cutesy. Totally. Um, my good, recently, I've been very big into triangular buildings. Okay. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like can you picture frame? Like, um... I guess a lot in Paris, but a lot in Chicago too. On a street where, like a six point intersection, sure, you'll see like oh, a building that, way, that, that you'll see a building that comes to like a point yes. instead of being a square. Okay, Wh- loving those. <laughs> I just think they're so. There's like something like really whimsical about them. They don't I make totally sense. Understand that? Right. They're, they're probably what are you like doing with that corner. Right. I feel like an architect was probably like, let's be a little naughty here. Totally. Like, let's just turn it into a triangle. <laughs> right? Absolutely. And maybe, maybe they're like, I don't know if, do you know any architects? Like, I wonder if. The, I can't say that I do. Mm, I wonder if they're like, oh, we hate triangle buildings. Like, <laughs> they're so point. <laughs> They're so pointless. <laughs> they're so useless. They're so pointless. No, way. no, they're so like. I wonder if they're like, oh, that's such a terrible use of space. I wonder sure. if there's like probably like an architect like Facebook page where we hate triangle Architects buildings. Architects against triangular <laughs> yes. buildings, and they're gonna like <laughs> slander my name after tonight. They're gonna be like, oh, why would she say We're she loves really them? Piss off the architect community I with know. this one. But like, there's something really just like, oh, and then it's a triangle right. when every other building is square. Look at this silly, useless bit yes. of space. Yeah, like what does the room look like <laughs> yeah. when you, I guess it's just like a long corner. I don't know. There is a triangular building that you would love that just got put up in Madison. <gasps> it's like, it's it's extremely pointy. Oh. Like we're talking acute. an acute angle. <laughs> and it like is... The, the the point of the triangle mm-hmm. is pretty it's all glass so you can <gasps> see what they oh, did with the inside of the building I obviously love it. because it's glass a lot of people went for the plant route okay great sunlight mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. makes total sense yeah but it's fascinating to me yeah, yeah. why well, I I feel like now you'll go walking around and you'll be like triangle buildings right and they're usually like I'm pretty, gonna just start sending you pictures yeah they're pretty <laughs> they're ornate most sometimes I don't know if there was like an era in the development of this city where triangle buildings were so true oh bless you bless you (laughs) my sweet you okay sometimes he does like to interrupt that's okay maybe you just I don't know if you have a stance on triangle buildings (laughs) yeah right I'm sure he would love them I know Uh, new place to sort of push your toys where you can't reach them (laughs) just push them into a corner (laughs) no one's gonna sweep (laughs) yeah yeah those Aww. are stuck there forever. So yeah, those are good. Those are good. I actually, speaking of architecture, I just went on the architecture <gasps> tour. Yes, that's also good. I just did it for the first time. I had never been on it before. And we did mm-hmm. it because James's family was visiting to get a good family-friendly <gasps> activity. great activity. It was so fun. Yeah. It was so interesting. <gasps> Aren't the tour guides so like knowledgeable and I heard they're good? also all volunteers. <gasps> Oh my gosh. There was a movie where Vince Vaughn played a volunteer architect. No yes. Way. What's the one with Jennifer Aniston? And Vince Vaughn, I don't know. I've been very big into Vince Vaughn recently. Okay, I've listened to a I'm podcast with him. <laughs> He's also a good. He's also a good. Yes. Um, okay, so what did you what did you learn? What did you take I away? I loved it. It was so fun. It was very interesting. I mean, obviously there are like the buildings you always knew would be on the tour, like the corn cobs and sure. things that are fun to learn about. But um, this one was interesting because they were talking. We kind of got to the end of the river and they're building a whole new neighborhood. Yes. 
78 or whatever because <gasps> we have 77 neighborhoods already oh. and so it's interesting to kind of hear about that and like all of the different things that they've like they've moved the river they've literally moved it i did not know that that's crazy <clears throat> i didn't know that was an option and they also made it switch uh the way that the water flows i am sitting here with my mouth just a jaw on the it's floor beyond the chicago river so it used to flow wow. the opposite direction how do um, I didn't know that was an option? I would like to learn so much. Literally, about this. we're defying science right now. I love. <laughs> yeah. In a different life, I would have been an urban planner. I think it's. Oh, that is so mm, fascinating. Mm-hmm. It sounds so hard, but I yeah. respect people who do it. Yes. And then it's also so funny when <clears throat> urban planners fuck something up, like when they put in the six oh six that was supposed to be um, yeah. the train, but then they repurposed it in a very nice yeah. way however would love a train that went in east to oh, west chicago if you're taking chicago notes. that would be <laughs> yeah. huge for me to get from me lakeview to logan square or even just maybe wicker park right. without having to go through the loop or I take know. a 30 dollar uber yeah crazy did so, you ever take the bus um uh over here no i've become a little bit of a bus girl because yeah. i am it's been harder like the L, you just have to like, it's like spokes on a bike. You have to go mm-hmm. in to go back out. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, that is just a waste of time. Where are you taking the bus? So usually I'll take the bus to like a Lakeview. We oh. have a lot of friends over there too. Which? Which bus? So I'm Give doing 73 to the 50. You do okay. have to do a bus transfer. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. You got it. It's, yeah. yeah. It's like you're on um an Etch-A-Sketch. It's like you go up and down or left to right. There's no like right. good way to do it. Yeah. Well, and this okay. city is such a like grid system. Yeah. So, but. I know. Yeah, would love a train, but yeah, the bus has been That'd fine. be huge. I'm big into, of course, I I love our our 22 up and down Clark. Yes. The eight up and down Halstead. Shout I out love to shout out yeah. to the eight. The eight is a great yeah. bus ride. There's so much to see. Yes, and you just you look up and then you're like in Fulton Market. 100. percent Easy peasy. Seriously, I love the eight. So yeah, I have become more of a bus girl. I'm also like. I'm a I'm about a mile from the train, so it's also mm. like, uh, and I can catch the bus pretty much right outside of my house. Yeah, and they take the exact same amount of time. Yeah, so. <laughs> we love we love public transportation. Yeah, we sure do. And I feel like that's another thing. Like, if you're going to be in a city, like that's part of the. I would feel more claustrophobic if I had to drive everywhere. If that yeah. was my only option. Yeah. Versus being able to like just hop on. To, to have idle transportation. Yes. It's amazing. And then you can just like be on your phone. Right. Phone time. Seriously. Built screen in. time. <laughs> <laughs> Built in screen time. Literally. As if we're not getting enough of A that. Treat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you just, you just brain off. Just <laughs> get to watch whatever. Straight up. Yeah. It doesn't get better than that. And then you get home. Okay. Well, Love let's it. do your bad. Um, okay. <sighs> See, this is what's going to get me canceled. Not really, <laughs> but space. the bad is, <clears throat> okay, so I was telling Sam before, I am having, I'm, I have my little countdown app as like, I just downloaded looking, it. Yeah. <laughs> Again, not a sponsor, but it's like a widget on your phone yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> to like, just have things to look forward to. So I've been kind of like scrolling through the next couple months, you know, August, September, October. Halloween, unfortunately, looks like it's going to be, it's on a Thursday this weekend, which means for us in the Halloween hating community. You hate Halloween? Oh I gosh, know. Okay, See, I should okay. have not. <laughs> oh, there will be probably two weekends where people will be celebrating Halloween. Mm, I see. So that's, for me, bad. Okay. I would never have pegged you as a Halloween <gasps> hater. I feel like that makes... Okay, go ahead. Explain. I just feel like you love to have fun. (laughs) Right, so... Is it the dressing up? No. Okay, let's talk about it. Let's dig into this one. Well, yes and. It's the dressing up. I do love a... I'm playing with... I'm playing with the wire. I I was asked (laughs) specifically not to play with the wire. (laughs) It's so hard to do. I like dressing up. I love I love a theme party, okay. right? Like Right. That seems like, so yeah. up your alley. Like not that I was there, but your Margaritaville party, that's I love that because you have a theme, you can kind of take your own spin on it. You can kind of 
mm, there's a little bit of like leeway from like how you interpret the mm-hmm. theme everybody's gonna come you're all playing for the same team right you're all going for the same theme so true there's a little bit of like space to kind of you don't have to hit the mark so perfectly sure halloween sure 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 the pressure okay yes of you're basically throwing your own themed party Mm -hmm. and then do you want to be cute do you want to be gory do you want to be sexy do you want to be funny you have to like and then do you want people to know it immediately Mm -hmm. do you want only like niche people to understand like there is so much you really have to bring your a-game to halloween and i'm just not there i understand i see now that actually does make sense to me i would say i feel the pressure of it Mm -hmm. as well like i've definitely and i honestly feel like you have to start planning your halloween costume like straight up now spirit (laughs) halloweens are taking over the vacant buildings in this city they crazy are you i love to dress up i'm pro halloween okay but i feel like for me almost finding that sort of delicate balance of like I want it to be funny but I would like to still feel pretty Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm -hmm. so you have to sort of search for that it's not always easy like I definitely have some friends who lean funny all the way Mm -hmm. I love and respect that for you but I don't think I can you know I don't think I can go there. (laughs) Yeah. Like, what do you mean when you say like funny all the way, like dressing up like Pitbull or like. Right. mm -hmm, Like anytime mm -hmm. you're wearing, you know, if you're pulling out a bald cap, I think that that's going to constitute. Yeah, I wouldn't say that that. (laughs) I'm not feeling my best when I'm in a bald cap. (laughs) I'm so tempted to get like six bald caps for this weekend. No, wait, I was going to get us. (laughs) I was so tempted to get (laughs) pit vipers. Like knock Oh my god, it. hilarious. Wait, that actually be really funny. Okay. Well, cut this part out, but it won't come out until after. Okay. Oh, so we're okay. safe. We're safe. <laughs> Wait, fun. Uh, yes, okay, but I see what you mean. Like funny, um Yes. Like funny girly, like Yeah. Yeah. I respect it. I totally love the vibe. I just there's something about mm-hmm. it where I'm like, I know some girl is gonna be in underwear, yes. so I would yes. like to be somewhere in between. <laughs> or it's like the like the tick the money, give me my money TikTok. You're yes. like, I could everyone else could do this and they'd get laughs. And yeah. I would show up in a ball cap. <laughs> yeah. Right. Stairs. No, totally. It'd be like, Kira, yeah. like, what is going on? Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh. So true. So and I feel like I usually go. I've done the niche thing before and it's not fun when people don't know. It's never fun when people don't know. Explaining it 25 times. You're like, oh, I'm actually, have you seen? And they're like, no. I'm like, (laughs) okay, I'll just go. (laughs) Right. I'll leave. Right. Yeah. So I usually go for something a little more obvious, but sometimes I like to switch up the roles. So like, I know something that James and I have talked about doing the last like three years and it just hasn't happened. Um, Are you going to spoil your Halloween costume? We'll see if we do it this year. (gasps) We were going to do it last year. So I bought the stuff, but um, he was, I was going to do like the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, but instead of doing like, I'm Sally, he's Jack, (gasps) it would be like, I'm Jack, he's Santa Claus. Oh my god! Like something fun like that. That's fun because yeah. then there's like the makeup element to right. it. Yeah, I li- I do like getting dressed up. I do like <laughs> putting- you can be a Halloween yeah. hater. It's okay. No. <laughs> and then there's also this like pressure of like okay, it's uh like the Saturday before is like whatever October like twenty whatever. Yeah. Okay. Are people dressing up? Like what I is know. it? Like we're going out. Are people going to be dressing up? Are so we- true. We're going to a party. Like is it like just a normal? pregame or like are people gonna be and then what if you choose the wrong one i know and then the following weekend that saturday will be like the second of november it is right. thanksgiving now yeah stop <laughs> yeah, put the yeah, costumes away true. that is the hard part i do also hate now that it's become this culture of like you need four costumes right Mm-hmm. I can't go all out for four. No. But showing up in a half-assed costume is so lame. Right. Completely the worst thing. Lamer than yeah, lamer than putting on a bald cap and getting no laughs. laughs. Yeah. Right? You don't want to be the person who is like, yeah. I'm too cool for that. I don't know. It's really, I I totally. grapple. I'm having a hard time. I'm seeing that. <laughs> yeah. But you're right. I do love all the elements of Halloween by themselves. Actually, I don't like horror and gore. Okay. And like um, sca- yeah. scare, scary things. I don't. I kind of feel the same. Do you watch scary movies? Um, No, if I can help it. 
No. I like couldn't get down with a scary movie every once in a while, but there was one year where <laughs> we like must have been high school or something. We did like, you know, a haunted corn maze or one of those. Yeah. I was actually scared shitless yes. and I like ran into the bathroom and hid there. And like, you know, they have the actors who oh chase you around. And this guy was like with his machete under the door. And I was like, I literally will call the police. Like, you need to stop. <laughs> this should be like illegal. Yes. I'm obviously terrified. A now safe I'm back zone. into a corner. Yeah. <gasps> oh <my God. laughs> All the way off. That's so fucked up. Yeah. Mm. So I'm definitely not into yeah. that. I feel like I don't I don't really know very many people who go all out scary costume. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But like some houses, like I don't know, when I'm like back home like trick or treating with my nieces and nephews, I'm like, yeah. stop with the spooky things that move. I, I don't like being spooky. Spooked. No, straight up. Even those old school bowls <gasps> that have the hands. Ugh. I'm like, let's just be nice to the kids while they're grabbing their candy, exactly. please. Or you're like walking <laughs> through like a Walgreens and something like cackles at you. I'm like, please, oh my God, I'm, yeah. just, I'm just here to get some right. nail polish. Between like, now and Halloween, it's really not safe to go into like no, a Michael's, a Joanne's, none of it. So much Home like goods. <laughs> cinnamon <laughs> candles, yes. fall foliage, yeah. and cackling witches. <laughs> Yes, literally. Oh, no, the Halloween candy. The co- I went to Costco yes, with okay, my totally. mother the other day. Bulk just buys. like, <laughs> no, it, co- it was, when I tell you whiplash from being in a little Parisian like right. corner store to being in. We live in abundance over here. It was <laughs> terrifying. I was like, no, I do not want a sample. Yeah, literally i want to go home yeah i don't feel safe no. <laughs> it's like why does everyone in this costco not know how to like maneuver themselves through a crowd mm, totally. i do not wish to go back for several months and that is so fair and, and that's, that's your god-given right <laughs> <laughs> to not step foot inside of until god. i get <laughs> until i get my halloween costume yeah literally uh, literally no it's so bad so your bad is halloween no 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 halloween being two weekends this year two weekends okay i see if it cleanly lands on a mm, like a saturday the 31st and then we know yeah there is just That's like that weekend only yep mm-hmm. but you know what i will say halloween in a preschool oh very cute so true i love making little spiders and pumpkins very endearing that's fun do they dress up um i think like they're allowed to wear like orange and black but okay. not like full-on costumes okay but halloween as a um young mid 20 something right not for me okay i understand mm-hmm. you're making a case for being a hater i get yeah. it <laughs> no and i can see the other side too because i'm the first to pressure someone into participating in a uh, another themed party yeah i do love a good theme mm-hmm. but it, sometimes it is easier when everyone's on the same page because yes. otherwise halloween feels competitive like you're trying yes. to be the best yeah and i'm and not the, the best yeah. yeah and i'm humble about yeah. it yeah. <laughs> and i love yeah. that about you <laughs> Yeah, okay. I get it. That mm-hmm. is bad. I could see a Thursday maybe being just one. I don't know. We'll see. I would hope. Yeah. I feel like it's like like Groundhog's Day. Like, oh God, <laughs> like two more weeks of Halloween. Uh, we'll see how the cookie crumbles we'll this year. I can hope. I can only hope. Literally. Yeah. Okay, well, how about your ugly? Okay. I have a question about the ugly. Yes. Um... What are like the parameters? Does it have to be physically ugly? I know you said it could be kind of whatever I want it to be. I think that's my favorite part about it. It does not have to be physical. If it's like an ugly personality trait, an ugly Mm. thing someone has said. Oh. Um... Maybe you're being self-aware. This was me last week. And you have oh. something that's like an attitude problem that you're oh. ugly for. Oh, we're not going to address <laughs> that in this in this hour. Um, my it can be physical as well. This is more like um, an ugly vibe. Okay, yes. Love that, it. That is soon to take over this, um, this city of Chicago. Mm. Do you know what I'm talking about? I don't yet. I it's, should. It's this weekend. Here. It's this weekend. <laughs> this weekend. The awful terrible vibe ruining ugly air and water show oh that's this weekend are you familiar yeah 
Yeah. Um, I kind of forgot about it. What is it like over here? Because you're a couple miles like west yeah. of the lake where it. I feel like I don't. I definitely knew when it was happening last year. I feel like I am a little bit further removed that it's not uh, all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. How do you know when it happens? Well, so Evan, who you met, (gasps) went last year. Oh, no, Evan. (laughs) I am so sorry, but. Which he's new here, too. He doesn't know any better. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. He's a sweetheart. So I think that that was like kind of a, a main reason I knew. It definitely gets shit on, though. Locals are talking mad shit about it. <laughs> There's a screenshot. I have to. I have to pull it up now. Um, you have to send it to me. I, I posted for the pod. I bring it. Well, well. Let's see if I have the consent of the person who's in it. <laughs> um, okay, fair, fair. This happened like two years ago. Um, it's just all my homies hate the Chicago Air Show. Hilarious. Literally, because for those of my neighbors and I on the um on the lake side of the city mm-hmm. at least i guess this year we we me and claire um just looked it up and know which day it is it's m- many years we are just awoken by like oh war God, craft nice. coming over our old apartment shaking us awake we like wake up in a stupor and they're like we're under attack it's totally <laughs> oh my god and then we're like oh no it's god. mid-august this is the just simply the chicago air and water show oh no so it's a little bit it's very traumatizing and i then, can only imagine and then you're trying to have a nice like lunch outside on a patio perhaps right. every minute like they're doing f- and why are they doing flips yeah, right. <laughs> and why are they going upside down? <laughs> and these are the questions we should be asking. And the, the formations. What are we? What I? It's one of those things too, where it's like, have we not learned that this is like the amount of like just toxic carbon? Like we don't need to be doing this. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, just the yeah, amount of like for sport noise, yeah. the amount of disruption <laughs> yeah. to my day. No, a hundred percent to my weekend. Mm-hmm. Also, like. I do not suffer trauma from um, aircraft or right. war war, war machines, <laughs> yeah. but I know people around me probably do. That is actually so true. That is so um, true. Yeah, and what are we what are we promoting? Like our 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 big strong military right. fun like g- gadgets? I don't know. Like yeah, what is the point? To, I, I, Evan, if you could, uh, yeah, <laughs> if you right. could fill us in. I don't know. It's like cool to see like the airplanes go over and do their little formations yeah. and tricks. And sure. um, I don't know about the water part. Maybe, maybe I would like the water part if it's a little more silent. I guess I'm picturing like water skiing, but is that what? Oh, I'm thinking like <laughs> navy boats. Like, <laughs> what? I'm not the Olympics. <laughs> Why am I literally picturing like ten? You know how like water <laughs> skiers. <laughs> Are like on each other's shoulders. I'm just picturing people doing that with like yes. giant aircrafts like flying well, over them. Maybe we should. <laughs> but I have no idea if that's what's taking place. You know what? It probably isn't. <laughs> the fact that we don't have plans solidified for this weekend <laughs> yeah, like, and it's the air and water show, maybe we might have to end up there. Yeah. Even if it's just for a brief second. Yeah, just to see see and confirm that we hate it right sometimes um, yeah it is good to have a taste of your own medicine. yeah <laughs> i would i guess i don't know enough about the it's the air and water show right yeah. it's not just the air show yeah i'd like to maybe see maybe there's some like cool naval ships i don't know i feel like like grandpa's the only would way be in that's that. interesting is if i get to go on it like if they're oh. just going past i mm-hmm. i could mm-hmm. not care less hmm yeah, I don't really wish to go down to Navy Pier this weekend. Yeah. I feel like it I would... can proudly say I have not gone to Navy Pier since moving here. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Congrats. I haven't been. I've... Would you want to? I mean, maybe. Mom, there's nothing. I went last year with my, um, like, uh, the family that I used to nanny for in, in the, my Spanish family. They came and did a little visit. And I was like, oh, and this is where people go. We go to the Navy Pier. I <laughs> and they're like, and what do you do there? Do you, there's nothing to do. Oh, there's, there's not. like there's like a mall and like a the Ferris wheel of course. Right. Um I don't know what else you do. I just remember going there for like high school art field trips. And it's, that's the only 
Oh, is there? There a, must be something that happens there. <laughs> I, there's like a huge like convention center. I'm sure there's like yeah, it was like in galleries the, or like yes. events. But on a normal day, I don't I don't know what you'd go to. Right. Do. You get like souvenirs. Yeah. I know Chicago's so funny that way. I feel like some of our tourist things, like okay, we have a pier and a giant bean. Do not disrespect <laughs> the. You can disrespect Navy Pier as much as you want. The bean is the funniest. It's she's an icon. No, literally. I love the bean. I think she's under construction. Okay, I think I. Th- I wonder if she's open. Okay, you think so? Maybe. I know it was closed for a bit. Actually, mm-hmm. when my three broad friends came, I was like, I would take you guys, but this it's is like closed. the fourth time you've dropped the fact that you've studied abroad. <laughs> okay, brag. Yeah, she went to London. <laughs> Yeah, I went there specifically because I was too scared to learn another language. <gasps> oh, you don't have to learn another language. I guess that's true. <laughs> you just you just demand that everyone speaks you just English assert to you. Yourself. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You uh yeah, assert dominance over mm-hmm. all of the locals. And then you can just like mumble about why don't they why don't they speak English? Right? Yeah, I heard they love that. No, yeah. They they do. <laughs> the French especially. No. Okay, just well, kidding. ugly is the air and water show. Yeah. All my homies hate the air and water All show. All my homies hate the air and water show. I feel like he'll have to let me post it. Devante, friend of the, friend of the pod. Yeah, Devante, it's funny. <laughs> it's funny. We're using you as promo. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll have to decide if it means, like, we check it out and make fun of it mm. or we hate it from afar. I'm comfortable yeah. with either. Can I tell you one more funny thing? Absolutely. That has to do with the air and water show and Vince Vaughn. Yes, this is a really wonderful circle back. <laughs> so I was listening to this podcast called Smartless. It's oh, like love, Jason yes. Bateman. Yeah, yeah. Will Arnett. And their guest on the one episode was Vince Vaughn. And he was, he's like, a, you know, a Chicago legend. Totally. And he was like, yeah, like one time they asked me to like come to the air and water show and like skydive and like land. Oh my God. <laughs> he was like... Well, I did it, but the night before I was out drinking, and he's like, "Oh god, oh god, oh god!" <laughs> first time I ever was doing like the first time I ever sky dove, sky dived, sky dove. He's like, "I was so hungover," and I was like, "That is the most Chicago oh god, thing." Literally, I've ever. <laughs> sounds like sounds like my like third level of hell. <laughs> hungover, <laughs> skydiving at the Air and Water show, right? <gasps> Hot, the trifecta. Mm. No, I thank you. There's a part of me that's like, I don't know if I would ever skydive, period. And there's mm. there's a part of me that's like, I would never do that hungover. But at the same time, I'm like, maybe if I'm in a hungover, silly, goofy mood, that is mm-hmm. actually the only time mm-hmm. I would skydive. Yep, yep. <laughs> Hard to say. I feel like the headache, like the... Oh my god! Like so the G force. I don't know what the, the pressure. Yeah, <laughs> I would just like pass. Yeah. I don't know. Oh my god, that's insane! Yeah, who knows? Well, sometimes you just have to take one for the team. And you Vince do. Vaughn, he went sure ahead did. And did it. He's a, <laughs> he's a legend. I love that man. Okay, well, my last question for you is: Your hater mode activated today? Um, I would say so. My hater mode is constantly activated. Yeah, <laughs> mine's like maybe like a flickering like red light. Totally. Not like as soon as you told me that your good was like kind of cutesy fun, and then your bad and ugly were like the meteor of yeah. three. I was like hater mode is activated. Yes, heavy hitters on yes. the bad and um <laughs> bad and ugly side. Fantastic but, answers. Yeah, thank you. It's so fun <gasps> having you on this podcast. This was so fun yay oh, I loved well you're amazing at this you have to be a repeat guest I can't wait the fans are gonna be eating up I'll put it on my countdown app. Yes. <laughs> no I'm so glad you introduced me to that because I think it's gonna change my life yeah you'll have things to look forward to and that's you, all a girl needs yeah. in this little life that we live and they don't have to be big things so true maybe like something tiny right yeah just a little something do you like check them off they kind of like I think you get a notification like like today like today's the day oh and then it yeah and then it goes away okay totally but um but then they stay in like the archive oh and then you yeah. have this little memes <laughs> yeah oh my god you sure do i love it yeah well maybe we can get them to sponsor the pod <gasps> we'll drop the link in the show notes. It's like it's like not even a yeah <laughs> it's literally like oh it's like a desktop right. app but yeah countdown app a girl can only dream yeah 
Well, thank you for joining oh, me. Thank this you so blast. much. And thank you guys for listening. We'll be back next week. You can't get rid of us. Um, don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, etc. Love you. Bye. Bye.